Hey everybody, Nuga Cowboy here from Cowboy and the Indian. Uh, first and foremost, thank you for all of the support. Really do appreciate it. And uh, I wanted to address a few things today. Well, first of all, I'm going to start a mini series for beginning riders, uh, just to kind of give some information and encourage them to make the the right decision when buying a motorcycle, and also when riding a motorcycle when that that purchase is made. First and foremost, we're going to start with budget. But the number one thing when it comes to budget is the obvious uh, thing, and sometimes it's not so obvious to some. That is, make sure you can afford the payment. As simple as that may seem, when we get the, when we get the, our license, whether it's from the motorcycle safety course or from the DMV, when you walk in that showroom, it's just uh, eye candy everywhere, right? Especially if you love motorcycles, you're a two-wheel freak. You walk into the showroom, and you want to take them all home. You want to take them all home. Maybe you don't have that number that you're going to spend. You're just going in to check it out, right? I'm just going to go in and have them run some numbers and see what we can do. If that's the case, don't go. Don't go. Go in there with a number in mind, whether it's a uh, the cost of the bike overall or it's the uh, monthly payment that you can afford and easily afford. Because one thing you don't want to do you don't want to go in, get that monthly payment, and have it affect your current lifestyle. Now, maybe if you're willing to give some things up for that motorcycle, okay, that's that's different. But if you're expecting to have your same lifestyle but adding the motorcycle into what you do, then you have to be very aware of this. I had an idea when I went in and bought my motorcycle. Okay, this is a number I'm comfortable at. I really can't go past this. I went in, the motorcycle I was initially going to buy turned out to be a, a little more than I wanted to spend. So I said, well, let's check this one. I actually fell in love with the second bike. So we checked it, and it matched what I was willing to pay. So it worked out for me. But you want to make sure you have that, that monthly number or the total number um, going in so you don't, you don't get caught up in the eye candy. You know, well, I was kind of wanting to spend this. This bike's two thousand, three thousand dollars more. Well, that's going to add to the monthly payment. Can you afford that? And can you still um, have a great lifestyle and be able to go out with friends and be able to go out to restaurants, uh, clubs, whatever you do, and it not be a hindrance to you? That's so. That's key. Make sure you can afford the motorcycle because it's very easy to get caught up in that. When you walk in, you see all these cool. Uh, cool bikes and you want to take them all home but there's one that's maybe a little bit more and you're thinking about that well you've got one thing you got to realize you've got fees uh, to take into consideration and uh, you know that number what you see maybe online is not going to be the final number so you need to take a look at that and have go in and have them run the numbers but know what you can afford easily afford and you can have your uh, keep your current lifestyle just that I only say that because you want to you don't want to cuss your motorcycle every time you walk in the garage because it's taken away from some other things that you love. So make sure that number is right uh, when you purchase your first motorcycle. And you don't want to forget when you're thinking of that number insurance. Now, if you're a younger rider, insurance is going to be a little higher. For me, that's not really a concern. I knew the amount, close to the amount that it would be adding to my insurance payment. So I wasn't too worried about that. But you want to call around, get some different quotes, and see what that number would add to your insurance payment and add that number into your uh, overall motorcycle payment. So another important uh, thing you need to worry about or need to uh, check into is insurance. Uh, take your well, that motorcycle payment that you're willing to pay, add that monthly insurance payment in there or quarterly, however you want to do it, in there, and just make sure it's the number that you're comfortable with. Again, this is uh, the very first topic of this mini-series I'm doing for beginning riders. Uh, budget, budget, budget. I think to wrap up, you just want to make sure you're happy with a number and it's not going to cause you any ill will toward this hobby, this lifestyle, to the, the two-wheel love that you have. For some of us, it is a lifestyle. For some, it's a hobby. Whatever you take it as, if it's a lifestyle you can afford it, get that motorcycle, man, get it. If it's just a hobby, make sure you address it as a hobby. Make sure that number is at a hobby level. And just going back to what I said earlier, make sure that's a number that you can easily afford. It's not going to affect anything else that you do in your current lifestyle. 
If that's the case, you're going to be all right. And uh, we all, listen, we all want the best-looking motorcycle, the coolest-looking motorcycle, the fastest motorcycle for some of us. Uh, we all want that. But this is your first motorcycle, so you want to make sure that it's budget-friendly and that you can afford the payment. And then when you get into your second motorcycle, you get a little more time on a bike, you can really invest a little bit more into this hobby that you love. So there you go, just a little advice on budget for beginning riders. Our next topic on this mini-series will be uh, the, the size of the bike and power that goes along with it. You know, where do you want to start? I have some previous videos, a uh, Honda Rebel 500 test ride, a uh, Harley 883 test ride, and uh, I have a Scout 60, an Indian Scout 60. So um, <clears throat> I've, I've compared those, and, you know, some of those would make some really good uh, beginning bike. But we'll talk a little bit more about some of these issues that uh, involve beginning riders and how you can make the right choice because it's all about the right choice and uh, especially when you're a first time rider because you don't want to have that that uh, have too much power and you have the wreck and that just turns you off from motorcycles altogether. We don't want that. We want you to be happy. So we'll discuss that in part two of this mini series for beginning riders. Make sure you join us on Facebook, Cowboy and the Indian. We're also on Instagram. You guessed it, Cowboy and the Indian. Share with your friends and make sure you subscribe. Until next time, this is the Nougat Cowboy, and this is Cowboy and the Indian.